Hey guys, today we gonna discuss the top 5 mysteries in physics. In 1900, the British physicist Lord Kelvin is said to have pronounced, there is nothing new to be discovered in physics now. All that remains is more and more precise measurement. Within three decades, quantum mechanics and Einstein's theory of relativity had revolutionized the field. Today, no physicist would dare assert that our physical knowledge of the universe is near completion. On the contrary, each discovery seems to unlock Pandora's box of even bigger, even deeper physics questions. Now, I have picked up five mysterious questions of physics which troubling scientists for decades. Let's get into it. Number one is what is a matter made up of? We know matter is made up of atoms, and atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And we know that protons and neutrons are made up of smaller particles known as quarks. Would probing deeper uncover particles be even more fundamental? We don't know for sure. We do have something called the standard model of particle physics, which is very good at explaining the interactions between subatomic particles. The standard model has also been used to predict the existence of previously unknown particles. The last particle to be found this way was the Higgs boson, which LHC researchers discovered in 2012. But there's a catch. The standard model doesn't explain everything. It doesn't explain why the Higgs boson exists in the first place. It doesn't explain in detail why the Higgs boson has the mass that it does. The Higgs turned out to be a heck of a lot less massive than predicted. Number two is why does time flow in one direction? Since Einstein, physicists have thought of space and time as forming a four-dimensional structure known as space-time. But space differs from time in some very fundamental ways. In space, we're free to move about as we wish. When it comes to time, we're stuck. We grow older, not younger. And we remember the past, but not the future. Time, unlike space, seems to have a preferred direction physicists call it the arrow of time. One physicist suspects that the second law of thermodynamics provides a clue. It states that the entropy of a physical system rises over time, and physicists think this increase is what gives time its direction. Entropy may be rising now because it was lower earlier, but why was it low to begin with? Was the entropy of the universe unusually low 14 billion years ago, when the Big Bang brought it into existence? For some physicists, including Caltech's Sean Carroll, that's the missing piece of the puzzle. If you can tell me why the early universe had a low entropy, then I can explain the rest of it, he says. In Whiteson's view, entropy isn't the whole story. To me, he says, the deepest part of the question is, why is time so different from space? Number three is how do measurements collapse quantum wave functions? In the strange realm of electrons, photons, and the other fundamental particles, quantum mechanics is the law. Particles don't behave like tiny balls, but rather like waves that are spread over a large area. Each particle is described by a wave function, or a probability distribution, which tells what its location, velocity, and other properties are more likely to be, but not what those properties are. The particle has a range of values for all the properties until you experimentally measure one of them its location, for example at which point the particle's wave function collapses and it adopts just one location. But how and why does measuring a particle make its wave function collapse, producing the concrete reality that we perceive to exist. The issue, known as the measurement problem, may seem esoteric, but our understanding of what reality is, or if it exists at all, hinges upon the answer. Number 4. Is there order in chaos? Physicists can't exactly solve the set of equations that describes the behavior of fluids, from water to air to all other liquids and gases. It isn't known whether a general solution of the so-called Navier-Stokes equations even exists, or, if there is a solution, whether it describes fluids everywhere, or contains inherently unknowable points called singularities. As a consequence, the nature of chaos is not well understood. Physicists and mathematicians wonder, is the weather merely difficult to predict, or inherently unpredictable? Does turbulence transcend mathematical description, or does it all make sense when you tackle it with the right math? Number 5 is do naked singularities exist? A singularity occurs when some property of a thing is infinite, and so the laws of physics as we know them to break down. At the center of black holes lies a point that is infinitely teensy and dense a point called a singularity. But what would a singularity look like? And how would it interact with the rest of the universe? What does it mean to say that something has no real surface and is infinitely small? A naked singularity can interact with the rest of the universe. 
Black holes have event horizons spherical regions from which nothing, not even light, can escape. At first glance, you might think the problem of naked singularities is partly solved for black holes at least since nothing can get out of the event horizon and the singularity can't affect the rest of the universe. But whether singularities can form without an event horizon is still an open question. And if they can exist, then Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity will need a revision, because it breaks down when systems are too close to a singularity. Naked singularities might also function as wormholes, which would also be time machines though there's no evidence for this in nature. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.